And wow. I was like, man, I'm either really good at remembering or terrible at picking passwords. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Amore Philly Union, the podcast where on bye weeks our episodes not only feel longer, but actually are longer. But that's okay because we're letting somebody else do the talking. We are your hosts. I'm E. I'm C. And I'm Paul. All right. Well, let's jump into a little bit of the uh the bookkeeping here with the help us help the you challenge. Um it was a it was a modest week. We got uh 47 more downloads since last week's episode. Um thank you. Are, um yes, thank you very much. Uh, we are we are slowly but surely approaching, uh, creeping up on that 3,000 download goal. Um, we're currently just about, um, well, 2,549 to be precise. Um, so we are pretty well on our way here. Um, when we hit that 3,000 download goal, we'll be making uh, a donation to the Philly, Philadelphia Union Foundation. So, um, yeah, just by downloading, you're helping us uh, help the Union. Make us pay. <laughs> <laughs> hey and if downloading is not enough for you you're absolutely we invite you to go over to the uh um, philadelphia union foundation website uh, www.philadelphiaunionfoundation.org and go ahead and uh, share some love and you know, make a donation directly to them uh, there's a nice big donate button there um you can click on and tell them a more philly union sent you Okay, well, this week is is a is a bye week. Uh, it's kind of an off week, um, and as alluded to in last week's episode, we have a um, a very special guest and interview lined up. Um, we are, are contacting, reaching out to uh, other folks out there in the union fan verse, and uh, yeah, and we're really lucky to be able to uh, connect with one of them and get them on our podcast this week and sit down for a real engaging and enjoyable interview and we hope you guys enjoy it too this week we're excited to have as our guest on the pod the creator and driving force behind the cool and informative instagram account we the union we are very happy to welcome to a more philly union gabe gabe thanks so much for joining us oh thank you so much for having me i love your podcast literally love all the content you're you're putting out uh congratulations by the way on 2500 uh (laughs) <laughs> big deal. Yep. Thank big you. Deal with Thank uh, you. with three thousand coming around the corner, I I love that. Yeah. Um, well, hey, thanks very much, and, and I'm sure some of that, a lot of that, is thanks to you. So uh, thanks for uh, tuning in. We really appreciate it. Yeah, and it's it's definitely t- ticked up quite a bit since we got started getting some love on some other other social media, and yeah. um, you know, we the union. Where did you which which social media platform did you start that on? Um originally like youtube this and oh this really was, yes uh, so not to go into it all or go into Please. it all but um so the we the union actually started as a college assignment in 2016 so i was a digital journalism major mm-hmm. in florida and so i'm originally from new jersey so um you know just native to the area and uh I- I have to ask, where from New Jersey? Burlington County. So Burlington, okay. Yeah. So honestly, kind of along that line of like, you may fall into the Yankee New York territory, or you may, but I was had the privilege of falling into the Philly. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. the, you know, done deal there, and that was credit to my dad, credit to my family, all that stuff. But that that uh, is good upbringing. So. It is. It is. <laughs> I had great parents. They, yeah, <laughs> they knew what was important, and they made sure. Uh, you know to bring me up that way but yeah so i was in college and um it was an assignment for one of my social media classes um and obviously this is like six years ago um has really nothing to do with um the things where i'm posting today which are more instagram related but Mm -hmm. uh, it was youtube and the assignment was like create a channel you know make it based on something you love and they want to see a post they want to see a bio you had to make a logo and i'm like i don't know any you know what am i supposed to do about this um, and so I, I found myself just kind of, you know, um, watching union games and, and I was like, I don't know what to do it on. Maybe I'll just do it on like a, you know, I'll do it on the union. Like, we'll just see, mm-hmm. I, I need it for the, the, the project. And so there's enough content, there's games. So like, I'll, I'll find it out. And so it was something that kind of spanned like over the semester. Mm-hmm. Um, and my first, but my first thing was a, uh, a, like a vlog, like a, 
yeah. like a breakdown of of something with the team. I actually watched it this morning, uh, just sort of knowing that you know we were hopping on. And man, it's just terrible. Like, oh my gosh. Like, <laughs> I'm like, I, yeah. I, I, I remember getting like in like a B plus, like an A minus, but I'm like, why? Like, I'm, I'm watching, like, <laughs> there's nothing redeemable about this. Um, I do remember, but just sort of like to date it, it, it I remember saying that they had just like waived the club option for Fabinho. Uh, but yeah. like that puts you sort of in like, you know, where it was at. That vintage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I had done like a fake scarf giveaway, like as like part of the ending. <laughs> and my teacher was like, "I love that you did that," and like nobody knows the account, so like it doesn't really matter. But, um, <laughs> is but that it was still it, up. Yeah. What's that? Is it still up? It it, it exists, but it is not. <laughs> it is not he will public. not tell you where. <laughs> maybe, maybe for like a mi like another milestone. Like maybe yeah. if if like if I if it continues to go well, maybe it'd be like a funny like, hey, let's poke fun at this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> but it was a YouTube medium at first because of a of a college assignment, and then uh, at some point, I just sort of uh, fell off the map, and um, just because the semester was over, you know. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Um, but over that time, it, it had gained maybe like just a couple. Maybe like a hundred or hundred and fifty, um, you know, people who are followers, I guess, who are interested. And so, it was enough to just like, I'm not gonna delete it. I'll just let it die into oblivion. Um, and then, uh, yeah, sure enough, like I just sort of like, you know, as we were mentioning earlier too, like you were kind of explaining how this podcast happened, and it was just like a day where I was like, I wonder if I still have the login for this. And this was like as as recent as like end of February, like oh really, beginning, beginning of March, yeah. And because I've only recently picked it back up, like it, it's been probably I think the first the first relaunch back in was was either end of February, beginning of March. And I was like, I don't even know if I have the, uh, you know, the password anymore. And my first attempt and I had and I was in and wow. I was like, man, I'm either really good at remembering or terrible at picking passwords. Like, <laughs> maybe, like maybe it was, I don't know. It was what, just a sign. You should yeah, have been doing right. it all it was, along. Yeah. It was meant to be, you know, yeah. it was meant to be. And um, and so I had done like a feeler, like uh, honestly, I cringed at it. Even I, I had I had to archive it, but it was sort of just like a reel of like, hey, we're back. And like, I was just trying to see if anyone cared, like mm -hmm. if anyone even you know, anyone was interested. And like some of the some of the people from like six, seven years ago who I just for, maybe forgot to unfollow were like, oh my gosh, like, are you doing this again? And I was like, <laughs> I, I don't think so, but like maybe, you know what I mean? Uh. <laughs> um, and uh, and then, yeah, so it, suddenly like we're we're sort of back in the mix and um, and we're, we're loving it. It's a lot of fun. That's great. So the Instagram uh yeah, like the Instagram incarnation that just started back in February, March. Uh, yeah, yeah, I would say the the consistent, like whatever it is now, right? Like the 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 model that it is now really started in February and March. So that there was probably like a remnant of maybe like 150 followers that were still there, but it was like you know the last post was like four years ago. Mm. And okay. um, and honestly, even um, I, I think it might have been end of March, um, beginning of April was when I started to kind of realize like. All right, maybe maybe people care about it like a little bit more than maybe I thought. Cause like again, like who who am I? Like I don't I'm not, you know, I'm not Taylor Twelman. I'm not like these, <laughs> I'm not right, like I'm I'm not these whatever, you know, not Terry Henry, whoever. Yeah. And it was actually it was oh, you know what it was? It was it was middle of February. I was just looking. Um yeah. it, it was my first my first post was February twentieth. And um, a couple of days later, we hit the 500 mark, like just sort of out of nowhere. Like it just, wow. like, it just sort of took off. Um, and then uh, obviously recently, um, it was maybe it was end of May. We had just hit the, the, the thousand mark and which is incredible. And it's ridiculous because like I'm not cool. Like there's nothing about that. <laughs> it's, it's just like the, the hunger to talk about the team. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the excitement, like. And, uh, you know, people who aren't from Philly or don't get the Delco vibe, whatever yep. it is, like, you know, we get a bad rap like nationally, but man, we love hard. Like we yeah. love our teams hard. We hold yeah. them accountable. And, uh, and, you know, obviously like, you know, you guys are feeling a, a similar space in this way, but there's a desire to talk about the team. There's, you want to bounce your thoughts off somebody. And so I didn't really think it would matter like to, to anyone. Um, but I just thought it was fun. And, um, I had found sort of what, uh, sort of a niche I, I i was looking at some other teams like you know miami and la like they've got like they've got so many fan accounts yeah. and yeah 
they get there posting about messy and whatever i'm like yeah but do you even know about like our boys like do you even know yeah. like about this like philly union and so um and there was some other accounts that are, that are still doing like some great stuff like there's some hilarious like union meme accounts um obviously mm -hmm. some of like the brotherly game like yep. they are covering mm -hmm. sort of the greater yeah. like you know soccer in this region and i was like man I'm, I'm i'm just missing like there maybe there's like something more to be said like sort of in a day-to-day -day kind of range or like is there anybody talking about just things that are happening and i didn't see it and so i was just like you know what like if if anybody cares like i'll just try it for a week and just sort of see what happens and um and it's just been really fun like even to the point of meeting just some great people like um and and honestly like it, there's been moments i haven't been to a game this year i feel like it's such a faker i, yeah. I haven't been no okay yeah so you know oh. it yeah it's it, i know it's coming i know it's coming um i live a little bit uh out of the way i'm, I'm about two hours and 15 minutes um sort of from subaru okay, okay. Uh, and, and so it's a little bit more of a yeah. of an endeavor yeah um and uh just for um just just with life right now weekends are sort of busy so i catch every game i don't miss a game mm -hmm. um but i haven't been there yet and it's been really cool too because uh honestly there's been a lot of a lot of new like friends and, and sort of just relationships like from this that they're like yo like when are we gonna get to meet up and hang at you know at the sons of ben like pregame and stuff and i'm mm -hmm. like it's, it's gonna happen but um <laughs> it, it, it's just been super cool because you realize just how how deeply like uh you know the the union run and um and uh, i just think people should know about it you know well let's um while we're at this point for those of uh for those of our listeners who haven't checked out uh, again it's we the union on instagram and there's two ends at the end of union um do you want to give a quick rundown of kind of like the style like kind of what you're what you're posting yeah. and stuff like that yeah um you know it's it, really really what i'm what i'm hoping to do is we we get content with um uh, with the union on the weekends we see games um but then there's you know throughout the week there's there, there's the things that like other people would do for other sports right there's talk shows there's analysis yeah. there's coverage um there's there's rumors there's speculation there's there's just updates right and and uh for me with the with with we the union that's become my space to kind of do that you know yeah. um and uh yeah, obviously this is not my job right so uh <laughs> so the, not yet not yet. Yeah, right. Well, you you know <laughs> whatever, right? And so for right now, like uh, what I, what I'm really trying to do is um, provide coverage for the games that are coming up, um, team news. Um, yeah. I'm a big stats guy. Um, I love, yeah. I just, I just want to jump in. I, your whole like um, uh, when you do like the head to head comparisons and also the um, uh, like the current form. So you're seeing like you know wins, ties, or draws, losses. You know. Um, yeah. Which uh, you know, I think we'd be lying to say if we didn't peek at those every once in a while for uh, <laughs> for ideas. Can I tell you? And I can. Well, that no, that's awesome. And and like you know, this is a this is a collaborative space. Like sports yeah. belongs to all of us. And like no no better game like like the beautiful game. So yeah, um, that that's that's awesome. Um, what was actually really cool sidebar. Um, but in the middle of sort of all of this like excitement, just over the past couple of months. Um, like and honestly, like the excitement. People jumping in has like hit gears I didn't know I had. Like, I I'm I'm not a graphic design major. I don't you know it, it's nothing like that. It's just sort of like man, people. I remember this was maybe a, uh, a month ago. Uh, somebody was like, this was before Andre Andre Blake resigned, mm -hmm. and there was a little bit of concern because he had posted maybe something that was sort of like uh, I don't know if you saw he had posted oh yeah story. we saw it yes. yeah mm -hmm. we saw it. I mean, I was very nervous. Yeah, yeah. A, little, a little bit of like, man, what's going on there, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, and Andre is not like a um, a hype beast by any mm -hmm. means. Mm -hmm. he, he seems very no. grounded. Mm -hmm. Um, and so that was concerning. And and uh, this was probably right after we hit um the like the five hundred mark. Somebody reached out and was like, "Hey, what do you got on the Andre Blake extension?" Mm. And I was like, "Why?" Like, there people are caring what I like. What you you think I have something? You know what I mean? Like. like <laughs> And and I and I was like, you know what? Like maybe I can find something. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. and and they like it's been cool to kind of get that that push like from people of like, well, let me see what I can find. You know, and journalism is a little bit in my blood. And so mm -hmm. back to the whole like, um, back to the whole stats thing. I'm a huge stats guy. Like growing up, um, I was a huge Phillies fan. Like I, my dad used to joke that I could make I could quote people's averages like 
you know, up, up, up to the minute, like, I'm, like, seven years old, like, Chase Ellie's batting 298, you know what I mean, or whatever. Uh, super corny or whatever, but, um, yeah, I, I just love that. And, oh, this is where I was kind of bringing it back around. In the middle of all of that, I, I can't, I, I won't say who, just because I don't want to, like, um, for confidentiality or whatever. Sure. I don't want to get anyone in trouble, but I actually had a, a player who who's a he's in the starting eleven um, uh, reach out, had responded to something that I had done, and um, you know every once in a while, especially early on, I was trying to just tag people just to see you know whoever would be interested or whatever. And I actually had reached out and was like, "Hey, like love the page. Just want to let you know that uh, while I was injured, I would watch, I would read your pregame stuff to like get scouting reports on teams." <laughs> and I, and oh I was my like, god. And that's I, and I awesome was like, i was just like pick yourself off the floor no, I, I lost my crap like i really did <laughs> i was with my my girlfriend and uh my dad and stepmom and, and i was like and we were watching a movie i i pa i like had to pause it like it's probably like a crescendo like a moment in the third act and i'm like everyone shut up like i just gotta <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're about and, to find uh, out who luke's father is pause <laughs> yeah Gotta go like, for a walk hold on <laughs> <laughs> yeah and uh and so that that was pretty cool like that yeah. that was a pretty and there's actually been like um one other like person who's kind of in the um in the team like sort of you know in the in the organization who's who's reached out to and so um it's cool like it's it's a really cool thing and i i really feel like it's um i, I really what i what i hope that, that people take away from just the instagram uh page at this point is there's a lot of care there's a lot of love um, mm -hmm. for the team and um and i think it's exciting I, you know and and especially from a, a philadelphia perspective where this team was birthed from a fan base that loved the team before it existed like mm -hmm. now that it does exist like how much more can we can we kind of push it yeah um and uh and yeah it's, it's just a lot of fun like it, it it's a ton of fun and and as long as it continues to be that way um then like i'm, I'm gonna ride it as, yeah. as long as we can you know that's awesome well, I mean, even just, you know, graphically and content, I mean, the graphics are just so, uh, you know, clean and, and, and engaging and it's just like bullet point, bullet point, like things you need to know. Right. And you, you know, just the swipe and it's just like these quick, almost like the sound bite structure of like just fast facts. Here you go. And, uh. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a little a, more in depth than just a single post. That's one of the things I like yes. about it is that you always have a chain of posts and, you know, you have like an introductory and then you have a, a series that breaks down a little more. You go into a little more detail. You know, it, it is like three to five or so entries in there, but you do get a lot of really good information and a really it's dense um, and yeah. it's really good. But yeah, still I, conversational because there was one where you were like, it was a nil nil tie. I have nothing to say. <laughs> I'm going to bed. And I was like, yes, exactly. I'm with you. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, I am going, I too am going to my bed. Because yeah. <laughs> I'm taking to my bed because it was a nil nil tie, but yeah. no, it's just, yeah. It's yeah. Accessible I, that way. I appreciate that. I appreciate, you know, thank you. That that's, uh, that means a lot. Um, it, you know, I, I guess that's part, probably part of my personality coming out a little bit of like, you know, and, and anyone who gets like the Philly sports. Yep. Like what? Are, what are we gonna do? Like what are we gonna do? Like uh, sugarcoat this? Yeah. And you, you, no. Like we're <laughs> right. going to bed. Like we're going to sleep. <laughs> That's it. We'll yeah. try again tomorrow. You know yep. what I mean? Like we'll, we'll come back and and be ready to go. I I had a little bit of fun with the one today, um, which was uh the the predicted lineups for because every team is a little bit thin. I saw Oakland. that. That was good. Yeah, it was like the my you know let's predict Miami's lineup and it's like not Messi, not Messi. <laughs> Like not Suarez, Alba. like yeah, yeah, Alba, and then not Messi. You know what I mean? Jordi Alba, man. Oh. Which was which was actually kind of fun too because I had um I had tagged one of the bigger um uh Miami accounts and they actually reposted it. They thought it was funny. Um, which, which nice. has been cool. Which has been cool because like um there there was a time too where when I was sort of finding my footing, um somebody had reached out to me and it was, it was called uh, MLS content creators and they were looking to kind of grab, I don't know if you're familiar with them. Um, no. but they, they do a good job just sort of facilitating like a lot of teams being represented in like fan accounts. Mm -hmm. And they were like, Hey, we don't have a union rep. Would you be interested? And that was cool. Cause I, it, wow. and I, and I was, and I was like, yeah, I don't know what that means. Like, let's do it. Uh, and, and it, it's been cool. Cause even some of the collab posts when we were playing other teams, there's, there's sort of a roster of, um, you know, Columbus crew and NYCFC, 
uh and and i like to have fun with it like you know again like if it's not going to be fun um then then why do it like mm -hmm. you know it it there, there's so many other things to do and um but i i do try to to balance that like i want people to walk away maybe feeling like they know more about their team than before mm -hmm. they saw the post mm -hmm. um and at least maybe you know um catch more of the story because you know the numbers don't tell the whole story but they mm -hmm. really add some serious context right absolutely um, and like sometimes in sports, like, um, you know, we can watch it and, and even casual viewers, they'll, they may not grasp what's happening, but they're, but things are passing the eye test. Like, oh, that guy looks like he's good. Or that guy does not look like he's good. Um, and so getting to kind of pad some stats is very interesting to me. And, and sort of, um, it, one of the ones I'm most proud of is, um, when I did, I did a preseason state of the union and then I did a mid season state of the union. Um, and just kind of helping people like what are like, let's make sense of this. Like we're in the middle of the table. Are we really as bad as we think we are or mm -hmm. are we better than we, th you know, are we better mm -hmm. than we than we think we are? And um, I just think it's fun. I don't know. I, I think it's a lot of a lot of fun to kind of jump in that together and then be like, hey, what do you think? Like, mm -hmm. like what what are what are you thinking about this? And I, I think that may be the most rewarding part is people have so many thoughts like we're, we're, we're the Delco Philly like Jersey we all have thoughts, you know, um, and <laughs> yeah, one so, or two. Yeah, maybe, maybe one or two. And so that's been, that's been great to kind of get, get some of that feedback and, and e even to the point of like, Hey, I'm going to bed. Everyone's like, yeah, me too, brother. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like we're, we're done. Like I'm, so, I'm logging off for the night, you know, actually somebody today cracked me up because I was like, not messy, not messy. And then somebody was like, you think Messi's playing? You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 they're like I, i'm pretty you think he's gonna be in though um and it, yeah it, it makes me smile has there been any particular post that generated a lot of interaction with oh, yeah. the with the group that kind of was a lot of a lot of fun for you to have that interaction yeah i i, I think the one that jumps out the most um probably the one that really the one that kind of took off like that 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 made this feel like okay, like this is probably something that can keep going, um, was the, uh, I did a player spotlight for Kevin Sullivan. Mm. And to this, to this day, it's still the, the most liked post I have, mm. which I, w we're sitting at over about, a, um, as you know, like a little, somewhere over a thousand followers today. And that one, I think ended up getting like over 300 likes. And at the time it was maybe, I had maybe like 700 followers and that was a big deal. Um, because right. it was right, it was right before the news broke that he was getting mm -hmm. ready. And I, and I was sort of like, I think I was scrubbing the dark Reddit, you know, like something. <laughs> right. And uh, whatever that is, like whatever that, yeah, <laughs> that sneaky place of the internet is where you find all the things. And, yeah. um, and I remember I had seen something and there was like a tweet that sort of had something. I was like, you know what? Like, I didn't know anything about him. So I was like, maybe if I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe I'm not the only one who doesn't know anything about him. And so I kind of did like a little bit of a deep dive and I had found that there was some legs to like him getting looked at. And I think at the time he was up for scouting and um, with like with Dortmund and Bayern Munich may have been in the, in the picture. Oh. And I had posted it and it, it really like, I remember looking at like the shares and like the saves and it was like, close to a hundred shares like over overnight and something, I don't know if it, that may have been one of the first times I had used that, that art style of like um, just sort of that, that player spotlight. Mm -hmm. um, and that, so I, I think that one was that, that one comes to mind first. Um, but I, I'd say a lot of the ones that got some great discussion from, from just people was uh, the transfer spotlights that I did a couple months back, which was, Hey, if we're going to target some center backs right now, this is who I, I I think we you know we we, we should look at or um, and I did that for midfielders and and strikers and mm -hmm. some people were like bro that's terrible like why would we go after <laughs> him <laughs> and I'm like I'm like this is great like all right if, if it if it's not them then who is it like tell yeah. me and, and people people had ideas so like well right. have you considered I'm like no I didn't consider that like yeah. let's let's see what we got and so um, and anybody who follows the union too knows how desperate we are for for some key you know, transfers this year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that really sparked, um, sparked people's interest, um, and made it, made just a lot of fun, you know, to, to talk about and see what people were thinking, you know, and I threw some names out there that were like, maybe that would never happen. Like I threw, I, I, well, at least maybe 
you know, this could age poorly and all of them happen, which would be sick <laughs> for me. But, you know, but I was like, yeah, like, what if we went for like Griezmann and, and Modric and what if we targeted yeah, right, like man. like a like a bad boy? Like and I threw I even threw like Sergio Ramos in there, which I think he's getting, you know, looks from yeah. San Diego. Wait, Sergio Ramos is actually getting looks from I, I'm he's... pretty sure I, I'm pretty sure I'd seen something. Maybe I'm wrong, but I, yeah. I want to say when I was in the middle of looking uh, that he was sort of getting talked at for for something um, because he was I'm looking I'm checking now he had some oh because his contract is up in June at Sevilla okay. and so he's he's a free transfer potential like okay. unless they are able to kind of sign him and his his like market value right now is pretty low because he's 38 yeah right but, he, but he's got some in the tank so like yeah you know I mean I, who's gonna say I don't want him although I'm sure his contract will require like he doesn't get to hold any trophies because he dropped the Copa del Rey at, from the top of the bus in the front as the bus <laughs> ran it over. <laughs> yeah, that, you know, I guess when you're at that level, you can afford to do that. Yeah, right. <laughs> Just buy a new trophy, heck, buy a whole new bus, right? It's not going to yeah. Sergio Ramos. <laughs> yeah, no, he can do what he wants. But uh, yeah, I would say that those ones that generated a ton of just fun conversation, you know? Right. And uh, yeah, I would say that. So you're... um. Kind of like what's your process? Like how you definitely post fairly frequently. Like, do you try to shoot for so many posts a week? You know, uh, and then the other thing I'll throw on is uh, at one point, I don't know if it's just conversation, but you use the word we. Do you have other people helping out with this? Uh, like kind of working behind the scenes or pretty much just a solo effort? Or is it a uh, royal we? Yeah. Wait, say it again. Is that a royal, a royal we in the <laughs> sense? Of- <laughs> it, you know what I think it is too is like, um, uh, so so no it, it's just me right now um I, i've had uh i've had some some people offer to like chime in and stuff mm. um and and what i what i want to do right now is just sort of um protect you know just like protect what we're doing you know what i mean like keep keep mm-hmm. it moving and then like mm-hmm. if it comes to a point like where i can't you know then, then maybe bring some people in uh, but for me like caring about it matters like um that honestly like and and i i don't know if this is popular or not but i i do often if if there's a certain spike in like analytics or something i try to like say like hey thanks for caring about this like this you know it it adds some sort of value um Mm -hmm. just knowing that uh if you didn't feel like people cared about it or or they weren't interested then you'd probably put a lot less effort Mm -hmm. um right and and so uh the process wise i i really don't um at this moment i i really don't have a have a rhyme or reason. Um, I try not to let more than um, two, three days go by without just some, which without just something, just because yeah. I, I recognize how how hard it is to regenerate momentum. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, you know, and as content creators, I'm sure you can relate to that. Um, yeah, I mean, and, there's definitely yeah. that kind of that 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 cycle. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, you know, I Christy keep... does a lot of the heavy lifting for us on the. Uh, well, let's be fair, all the heavy lifting for us on the socials. Um, but you, you kind of have to have that active presence otherwise it quickly you drop off the radar mm-hmm. y- yeah and, and i do feel like it, kind of ironically i was away for like six years on on it so i'm like do do i really want to chance it again like if pe- and this is more more excitement than even back then like they you know then it was just sort of whatever i don't i don't even know what it is and so um i, I would say currently what i'm what i try to do is um you know, as the game week approaches to so say like there's a game on Saturday, I really look to lean in on like uh, if I can get something out two days before just to kind of get people's minds like thinking about the game, you know, and, mm-hmm. and that, that that usually is like the hey, like what to look for or what you need to know. Mm-hmm. Um, and, I, and I try to just sort of paint a picture like um, I my minor in college was creative writing. And so <laughs> right. I, I do like to tell like stories, you know, and, and I and I like to sort of give whatever color like it might need for somebody to get maybe more interested in it than right. than they might have um been before you know stumbling upon or you know the post or whatever and um and, and honestly really what i'm the barometer and that i'm really rolling with here is like if it interests me it's probably going to make it into a post because if it doesn't interest me then i'm probably gonna not not going to do this anymore you know yeah yeah yep. and and, I, and i'm just I, I think right now i'm fortunate that we all are sort of in the same vein as like a fan base that like we're, we, I think we have a pretty good sense of like, um, you know, when, when something is very obvious or like there's a feeling like in union fans, like it, it's a consensus feeling, right? Yeah. Like, um, and so I, I think that that's where like the language of we comes from. 
Um, mm. Even even though it's just even though it really is just me, mm -hmm. like I, I want this to be a collaborative thing. And um, even even it was really cool. There was a guy who um, a couple weeks ago was like, "Hey, bro, like um, I have no I have nobody to give my tickets to, and I just thought to come to you and maybe you could find somebody." And so we ended up doing like a flash giveaway. Nice. And and gave two tickets away. And you know, I I was like not shy to. I was like, "Hey, is it okay if I use your your name or your whatever?" And he's yeah. like, "Yep." And then I was like, sweet. So, um, you know, let's make sure we thank him. Like, you know, I, I want I want it to really be something that uh, that everybody feels like they have a spot in or uh, or at least a voice in. So I, I do my best to to really like, you know, like the comments and respond back or or whatever. And so that's kind of where the we mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. the we comes from. And so um, and so, yeah, I mean, as far as content goes, it, it, if there's and I'm, and I'm always checking just to see, you know, what's going on or. Um, if there's a player who's really jumping out to me, like I did something for Leon, you know, Flock a, a few uh, weeks ago, yeah. and I, I just felt like he wasn't getting enough love. Like mm -hmm. yeah. I'm sit, I'm sitting there, and 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 I played a, I, I played, um, I played a little bit of soccer in uh -huh. in in school, and a little bit of indoor. I, I wasn't fantastic. Um, I did though. Fun fact: um, when Bethlehem Steel was doing their open tryouts, I did go. No, really, and, and that that was a, a a blast. Like that, and that's. <laughs> That's a whole nother whatever. Um, did not make the team, so <laughs> don't, don't don't hold your breath. But um, but I do relate to uh, to like his style of play and just like the 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 dirty miles like that he puts in and the heart that he plays with. And so the dirty miles, I like that. Yeah, uh, trademark. No, I'm just kidding. I just, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, no, but it, it yeah, I I think as far as content goes, I know that they're they have a game every week. And so I'm like, all right, like it's another game, but there's something about it that's different. And um, so in the middle of the week, I try to I try to get something up um, just to sort of maybe color it for people. Um, and then game day, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna throw my prediction out there and mm -hmm. something maybe something that could be bold. And um, you know, they're, they're usually not they're usually not anything crazy or out of the ordinary. But I, I always want to invite people into their predictions, and that's where you get some just crazy, wild, <laughs> like you know whatever you know what, whatever would be on your wildest bingo card you would just maybe throw out um and but but it's really not it, there's really not like a um there's really not like a, a set schedule i i will say a lot of my my posts i make it like 6 a.m like um, <laughs> i can kind of relate i'm 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 serious you know because you, yeah because you you've got your life is going to kick in and work's going to start and all this and so yeah. i'm i'm usually under this is ridiculous to say out loud but i'm usually like under my covers um and i will have like i've just woken up and i'm thinking about something or something pops up yeah uh you know whatever like i i get my coffee I read my bible get ready to go and i'm and and something just clicks and i'm just starting to like just you know like man oh what about this player what about you know and i'm usually done by by seven, like even this morning, the post about the the predicted lineups, I knew that I wanted to do it, but I wasn't inspired to do it until this morning. I finished it by seven, and then I just let the post be scheduled for eleven thirty, and I don't think about it. Mm -hmm. Um, and then um, and then I, you know, when people see it and if they care, and I give a check, and somebody's got comments about messy, you know, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, and so uh. Yeah, it's a pretty unorganized as as unorganized as that answer was. It's a pretty unorganized, uh, <laughs> you know, thought process. I'm just sort of riding the riding the vibe as the kid. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, right. Would say or whatever. But, yeah, when the yeah. when the muse strikes, that's kind of when you produce almost. He, yeah, he edits at similar yeah. times, but uh, yeah. he's usually coming at it from the other side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Wait, how so? How so? In the sense of like he's been up most yeah. of the night editing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Then, so. we get, then we get the 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 message at four a.m. Pods yeah. up. New pods, pods up. up. <laughs> yeah. It goes up at four. Which is uh, my cue. You're, you're you're like great. I couldn't sleep anyway, so I'm gonna listen to it right now <laughs> at four a.m. You know. No, that's good. You got to do it. You know. You find the times that that just work for you. I mean, I don't know if it's you know part of the everyone's creative process, but you just get in that groove. So even though I'm like. I always refer to them as the birds of doom. Like you start hearing the birds chirping, even though there's just, it's still fairly dark. It's like when you hear those birds, you just know, all right, man, yeah. I just lost the battle for the morning. Like there's <laughs> no way I'm going to recover this day now. So it's just like, I'm going to power through. I'm going to get this edited. I'm going to get it up. And then I'm going to just yeah. start like an IV of coffee and just get through the day. 
Exactly. <laughs> My exactly. coworkers no, know when I edit, I walk in the door just, you know. Yeah. You're just you're you're a zombie and you're yeah. just but you're happy. You know, you're a happy yeah. zombie at that point. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I plan I honestly, on being up super late tonight getting this one ed- edited. So sure. Oh. I, I would say the hardest part for me is probably the design. Hmm. Um, I like the content that what to say is easy, like because that that's uh that comes from the overflow of your fandom, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Right. Yeah. Um, and obviously as as a podcast, I'm sure that that is you know, obviously the the easiest part. You're you have all the thoughts. And so I do maybe maybe in terms of creative process, I do follow my thoughts to kind of shape what it should look like. Mm-hmm. But it usually requires like getting the thoughts out first. So a lot of my like, you know, uh designs just sort of have a lot of text. And I'm like, man, like what like what 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 would help maybe serve this or um, even to the point of like, one of the things I, I really like doing is if I'm talking about a player or somebody specific, I'll just kind of have like them in the background. Like if it's just a quote, just to sort of like lay the backdrop, you know, and, or set the scene, like mm-hmm. whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, but I would, I would definitely say the longest part of everything is like, how do I make this look cool that yeah. people, <laughs> it's Instagram, it's not Tumblr, you know what I mean? So like, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, and and you you know you, there's so many things that can like really grab attention, um, but even sports fans, it's like a different, it's a different thing. Like they're not looking for the coolest graphic of all time. It's just got to sort of be, you know, catch your eye and then mm-hmm. you know help you maybe digest or connect with what you're saying. And yeah, uh, sometimes that can be a fun with cer- a certain amount of consistency, right? Enough that they can scroll by and like, wait, that's we the union. Hold on, let me yeah. go back. Yeah. yeah or you know whatever account yeah you get yeah. but vary it but with in a consistent way yeah and i don't even yeah. know that i've hit that like even even to now like i don't know that i've even hit that square like yeah some sometimes i post something and i'm like mm, that feels like a foul tip you know what i mean or, <laughs> or or that but but to be honest with you some of the some of the ones that have done really well like that people have seemed to be really interested in were the ones i put the least amount of time in and, yeah yeah and- crazy which is stupid <laughs> like <laughs> um, because part of me is like do you know like how many hours no no uh, no no yeah but but it's cool because it um whatever that compass is of like man w- w- there's something to be said about let let it be raw like to your point Christy earlier of like I'm going to bed like and and, th- and that really came from I tried to do I'm like man I usually have four or five bullets or if it's a really good game I'll do two pages worth cuz I just couldn't fit it and mm. the language for me does matter. I try to keep it bite sized. Um, I try to keep it tight just because I want it to be valuable. Like I want it to be like lean and like protein packed if I can. Yeah. Um, and I just I was talking out of everything but like my heart at that point. And I was like, I just got nothing to say. So I'm just gonna say I got nothing to say. You know what I mean? Oh, we've um, had those weeks where it was like, Well, that was a game. And yeah. that's it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I love that though. Like even your last episode, you guys really, you know, you nailed that home. You're like, yeah, no, no draw, <laughs> man. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. It's real. No, that's real. Yeah. Yeah. I like that you have a bit of a, you, know, you can tell there's a personality behind it. You know, authenticity. It's not, yeah. yeah, it, yeah. It makes it more authentic that way. So I appreciate that. Yeah. So um, going forward in the season, kind of like, do you have any, plans or goals for your your uh, your project here like or just kind of well right I'll let you take it yeah that's a great question I, I i think part of them are some of them are still forming mm-hmm. um and and i think uh my shortly on on this list is like i do i gotta go to a game um that, that that's like my glaring goal like currently that's like this needs to happen because i, I probably have about um, I mean, maybe a dozen, a dozen and a half, like friends who I've just met who are like, yo, we, we like, I would love to meet you. And I'm like, I want to meet you. I, I want to, you know, I want to, I want to learn about your story. I want to whatever. Um, and I would say like that, that's probably like an immediate thing. Um, and because and now there's, there's, you know, friends who I've met who are kind of like, Hey, listen, like when's the next, when are you coming? Like every week they're like, are you coming? Are you coming? And I want to <laughs> come, you know, and it's killing me. Like, I'm like, Oh, like, you know, I wish I could sort of just teleport. Um, but I, but I think that would matter because um, uh, that that would be great. Like I, I think that that's probably like the number one personal goal. Um, as far as the page goes, or or just we the union, sort of in general, I want to keep adding value. Um, when we hit a thousand followers, 
it, it was pretty important to me to not just like show you know or, or say thank you but i wanted to kind of show it and so i was like why don't i just like make something free to kind of give away and so we did like um you know if anyone's listening and hasn't checked it out there's like there's free w phone wallpapers you can go look at and um and I, I made like a custom like fan quiz of just sort of like 10 questions about the union um hmm. and uh i it what was really cool and, and if if anyone's listening who hasn't checked it out um it's still free you go it's on my um highlights uh or in the link tree but what was really cool was um i was like you know like a free fan quiz if you're if you're just you know brand new like put it to the test you know you see what happens and um and i checked the link tree like the night of and it, there was like 70 downloads like of that quiz and i was like man like people just wow. love this wow. like they just love they love this team like it and mm -hmm. and it, it shouldn't be surprising um but but it was like and um so i i think i want to look for more ways to sort of make that happen um i've i've even thought about is there ways that i can like print uh, print something out or like be able to go and, and meet people who um who i've been speaking to like anonymously like behind this keyboard uh, or this phone or whatever um and sort of like leave something of, of value and so um i don't know i'm, I'm not really sure what what mm -hmm. it looks like i think for right now the best thing that i can do is um is continue to help people feel like they're a part of it mm -hmm. and um and you know, are we the union FFT? You know, <laughs> a, what, a what now? <laughs> are we the union and NFT? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, or like, or, or you know, I don't, I don't really know. You know, I, I don't know what it looks like. Maybe an NFT. Yeah. Um, I actually, I got this hat made for myself just as sort of like a. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, I was gonna ask that. That so just people because you know they don't see it, but it's a visual. It's, it's this great hat. She says, "We the union and the union colors." And I was gonna ask like. Are you going to open a merch store like this? That's a sweet <laughs> hat. Yeah, I, thank you for. I appreciate you saying that. It's uh, you, like when I hit a thousand, I was like, you know, what? I want to give something away to like people. Which again, it's it's digital. Like they can't touch it, but it's like iPhone wallpapers or like something to interact with, like to learn mm -hmm. more about the team, whatever. And people really like that. And I was like, you know, I should do something for myself. Like this is kind of cool, you know. Yeah. And so, um, yeah. So I, I just sort of like I I had this custom made, and it was actually a buddy of mine, a coworker. Uh, he. He's a big sports fan, and he was kind of saying, like, bro, like, you should go and, and you know, say hi to the, some of these people that you've been chatting with. And, like, and like they see – you see them. Like, you see their personal profiles, and, and, and you see their faces, but they don't really see you. And so, like, it would be cool to, you know, to make that connection. And he was like, bro, what if you, like, made a – just sort of, like, made a hat that when you go, you can say, hey, I'm wearing this. Like, and they, and they know it's you. Yeah. Um. Because you know, because like to to me, you know, I want to make sure I, you know, just sort of continue to protect what the page is about. It's really, it's not about me. It's really about the team. It's about the we, like getting to celebrate it. Um. And uh, and I was like, bro, that's a great idea. And like, why don't I just do this? And so, I don't know if people care. Again, like if they care about it, like if they care about it enough and they're interested in and um and one of the reasons I got this hat was because like when I go to a game, I didn't want to. I didn't want it to be like a t shirt. Because if we're mm. going to game, we're in the jersey. Like, yeah, like I'm, I'm not, I'm not picking even this. Like, this was a free giveaway. It's like a, a, a don't tread on me snake. Yeah. Um, from from something I don't remember what it was, but, um, you know, like I was like, you know, I could wear this hat though and rock it with my jersey. Yeah. Um, and so who I don't know. I I, I think it's still. Um, I didn't plan on any of it, so we're we're sort of pulse checking as we go. Um, mm. but if but again, like if people, uh, may, maybe at some point I'll, I'll show it, like on the page or do like a, Hey, check this out. And if people were like, Hey, that's sick. I would, I would be open to, to buying that. Then I'd be like, you know, yeah. And it actually just came in yesterday. So just in time for, oh, wow. Uh, nice. and I, yeah, it's quite, I, it, it's, it's funny. It's just kind of how, how yeah. it all is playing now. But, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Sharp hat. I like it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Would you buy it? That's my question. <laughs> that, see, that, that, I that's think we would real. have, and I think it's, we would have to get one. I, th I think like, yeah, for all of our guests who come on the pod, I think we just need to like, whatever they got, we'll support them. I would That's absolutely cool. get that hat. That's yeah. cool. I appreciate yeah. that. Which is now just motivating us to get our merch store up and going. We've been kicking that <laughs> one around for weeks now. We're like, uh, I mean, we've, come on. We've even like, I, I like while I'm editing, I'll get these little bugs in my brain and I'll start like, yeah. like graphic putting stuff, you know, very basic and stuff, but just the proof of concept that I'll like, text paul and christy like hey check out this mug or like you know um, i mean why not like yeah. you know well, if, if somebody else can do it like and why not you know and, yeah. and and i think even to the point of like 
can I do it is like, yes, I can. But like, will like one, will people care about it? Yeah. W one, do I care about it? That's exactly. And, and like one, if I care about it, okay, maybe somebody else will. And if they do, like, can I sustain it? Like, I, I don't want to be a flash in the pan. Like, I, I'm, I'm in this for a long time. Like, not a good time. You know what I mean? Like, let, mm -hmm. let's let's see if we can continue to. Well, we'll have a good time while we're doing it. But you know what I'm saying? Like, um, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. But I mean, I, I'd buy it. Whatever your whatever it is, like, <laughs> you know. And 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 I think I think like this fan base is just awesome. Yeah. And uh, and it, it's a good family to be a part of. And uh, even in like my Instagram bio, I'm like, you know, like. We, we love our team, but we are the union. Like it, it, they, they don't, they didn't really exist before sons of men was like, give us this team, you yeah. know? Um, yep. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to, uh, hoping to at some point, like reach out to them and be able to, to do something with them. I don't know many, uh, it, sort of in that. I know, I know some members, um, just through, you know, uh, just through like a affiliation and stuff, but, um, I'm hoping to, you know, to pay my dues to them at some point, you know? So let's switch gears a little bit and, um, let's talk about the unions. So how are the union doing so far this season, in your opinion? And that's a very loaded question. So do Super with that related. as you like. But Man, what are your thoughts on the season so far? Let's go yeah. with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> in, in 50 um, words or less. In, oh, in, in 50 words or not. <laughs> no, uh, no, no. It, it could, you know, it could be better. It could be worse. But like, yeah. I think the expectation matters. Like coming into this year. Um, I think we were hoping that we probably, you know, if we're honest with ourselves, I think at the beginning, beginning of the season, we had, you know, we had this thought of, is there, is there still some of that glow, like from that 2022 team? Because yes. on paper, it's not much different. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're, we, we look like we have a lot of the same pieces. And so I think our expectation really frames what we would say about it. And I, and I, I would be remiss to say that my expectations weren't obviously way higher than, than where we are right now. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I, obviously mm -hmm. I, I think most fans would, would agree with that. Right. Yep. Um, and, and in the same breath, I really don't think we're far off. Um, I, my biggest concern, um, my, I think my biggest concern would be do, does the front office see what we see? Um, you know, I, mm. I, I I think like the analogy would be if you're in a if you're in a relationship with somebody and you know you sit down and you realize that there's like a tension point and one of you is like man it's just about finances and then the other person is like it's it's because I never spend time with you like we don't get to spend time together mm -hmm. you're not really going to solve the problem like until mm -hmm. you can identify uh and come to an agreement this is the issue um and one of my biggest concerns I think too is and and I know maybe this is you know sound like a broken record but uh, it, it's disheartening to watch sort of the rest of the league spend money and um, make these huge moves and knowing that that's not really how we do it, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and I don't think it's a bad thing, you know, even even in the city of Philadelphia with like the 2008 Phillies, we had a farm team that just like the Utley, the Rollins, yep. the Howard, they just came up out of nowhere and suddenly, yeah. you know, suddenly they're, they're just studs. And so I do trust... Um, I trust Ernst Tanner. I will say that, um, mm. and uh, and and I I respect what we were able to do, even with that run in twenty twenty two, with with who we had, right? Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's, there's only one, there's only one Gareth Bale. He can only, you know, there's only one of those guys who's gonna spoil the party. He whose name should not be named, but I apologize. Or, no, it's all right. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I shouldn't have said that. No, no, no it's no, fine. You're, you're fine. You're you, should, you should censor it. Bleep it out. <laughs> bleep, bleep it out. It. Bleep it out. Gareth, make them, bleep. Yeah, yeah. Make them guess uh, what I said. Um, and uh, you know, it. I, I think, and you you can tell, like in the way I'm I'm sort of frustrated to to even yeah, like yeah. land on it because I, I want to stay positive. Yeah. Right. Um. Uh, but I, I do think for me, I think what would paint a successful season in maybe in February or in March, a successful season would be a deep playoff run and a push for the cup. Right. Um, I think now sort of at the midway point, seeing what's happening, realizing the Carranza's on his way out the door. Um, and, yeah. uh, and you know, their, their desire to sort of push some of these younger guys into the forefront. I just, I would be, um, very, uh, forgiving i think if it if it came to the point where the front office i feel like we're reading the same temperature here um not like no we're just one piece away because i really don't think we are i i, I think we're mm -hmm. not we're not many pieces away like some other teams i don't think we're mm -hmm. i don't think we're in full rebuild mode mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. um i think we're in reload mode oh that's a good way yeah 
But to that point, um, you know, with what, like, what, what are we, what are we going to reload? And and so mm -hmm. even, even yesterday when I was kind of catching some, I had posted about, uh, Carranza's transfer, um, just news about how they're, they're super close. Yep. Um, I had, I had seen, there was some like rumblings of, um, Ernst is looking for, uh, like, uh, his replacement in the second division of the Estonian league. And I, and I'm like, I'm like, that is a, that is a not. That I would never think to go there. You know what yeah. I mean? Um, wow. That's not, you know, and and so like it, it, it was, it had some weight. It had maybe some legs to it, but there wasn't a name associated uh, with with who it could be. And so, uh, um, but I do feel like at some point, even with like the Gazdag, the you know, even Carranza, right? Like when they, when they, when they go for a player, they either crush it, or it's like a Barabo who like we're like, why did we spend? Two million on this guy or yeah. a million and a half and um i don't know it, it's one of those places of like can you just can you let me know that that you see that we're looking at the same thing like yeah. can i and and i think one of the ways that i would feel really great about it is if we were able to get something for you know carranza recognizing that he he's up in december and so we're not going to get we're not going to get the seven to ten million that he's probably worth if we were going to sell him uh mm. with another year so I'm like, can we can we get a few somewhere in the two to five million range, and maybe like some sort of icing of a sell-on clause? That would that would be awesome. You know, anyone who plays FIFA would know that that's probably a big part of franchise mode. You sell the play, <laughs> you know, you sell the player, knowing that if they get sold, you get ten percent of whatever that team makes mm. or whatever. Mm. Um, and so that would be massive because I'm like, okay, we have we have, we still have a good knack for business. Um, and then I, I would love to see you know a promising uh you know transfer in to replace him um mm -hmm. because even this week you know going up against miami i'm looking at the squad i'm like man we're just kind of thin like yeah we're just sort of thin um and i'm confident though that you know some of the guys that are coming up even you know kevin sullivan he's already committed somewhere else but we'll have him for a little bit mm -hmm. um, i'm hoping he can sort of bottle the brendan aronson magic yeah um and uh, some of these other guys that that are you know 17 18 19 years old i'm like man if if we are committed to a long-term strategy with a um up and coming youth development um squad then like can can we at least like not have to wait four years to be successful like can we can we bring something in can yeah. we bring somebody in and um and that's one of those things like time will tell um but uh yeah, I don't know. I'm curious. I mean, would would you echo that similarly or would you, you know, where would you guys land? I was going to say, it sounds like you're pretty much in line of where we're thinking, yeah. um, where we're not displeased with how the union season has gone, but we're not as happy as we would like to be. Yeah. Um, and there is a mild level of frustration with, we just don't know where the, like the growth of the, we trust, <clears throat> we trust Curtin to be a decent manager and a decent coach to, to do what he can with what he has, but we don't really see what's going on in the background to bring in more uh, weapons for him mm -hmm. to use or to develop the ones that are already in. Like we talked about, I want to say it was even in the last episode about the growth of Harriel and McGlynn mm -hmm. and, and Sullivan and especially Sullivan this season has really turned it on. And we've, mm -hmm. we gushed about McGlynn pretty extensively in, <laughs> in an episode two or three, two or three episodes back. And, you know, Harriel certainly come on and, you know, who could we have gotten in the transfer market that would have done as well as those, any of those three, you know, you know so th there's, we just don't understand it enough, I think is kind of what mm -hmm. it is. And we're not getting we're not getting any words from the mm -hmm. from the front office, like you were saying. Yeah. We just don't know what's going on there. And it would be nice to get something from them. Like what are they doing? What are they looking at? Yeah, that that's a great point too, because they are a team that is tight, like lip. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Radio oh, radio, yeah. radio silence. Um mm -hmm. and um, which I guess, you know, for for with with the we the union account is kind of fun because you almost it, it almost leaves like a little bit of imagination in play of sort of like okay so like if this happened this would mean this or mm -hmm. if this happens because we, we there's not really always a ton to go off of but even to your point i you know looking at the underlying numbers we're not playing terrible um the problem is is that we seem to fumble the ball in, in some of the most crucial moments of the game mm -hmm. like like you've got a lead and you and you go down to ten men, 
You know what I mean? Yeah. And then immediately yeah. give a goal up. Yeah. Um, be- because even back on that post of like the State of the Union one, we we have we have good good numbers, but you know there's there's times where like our our expected goal, you know, because we we've, we've taken twenty shots, but two of them were on target. Yeah. And and so it's one of those things of like, man, I really think, um, you know, if I was in that meeting, I'm not. But if I was, right, like, <laughs> I, I the 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 number one thing I would I would target is is a finisher, like, like almost exclusively. Like they don't even have to dribble. Like they just need to because we we put so many crosses into the box. Like mm-hmm. we are one of the highest statistical like, um, in, in the 18 yard box like shots and and mainly coming up the the side from our wing backs right like our service mm-hmm. 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 We, we, need, we need somebody who can just kind of get up in there and poach the crap out of everything mm-hmm. um and uh and i for me i think that's huge i really think um another playmaker in the midfield would be awesome i actually maybe this is an unpopular opinion i haven't really said this on the page at all but um i'm i miss um like the style of bork dutch oh wow like, okay like, mm-hmm. like he he to me was was an awesome and he he did not have a long stint with the union no, he was not. a very frustrating player to watch at times mm-hmm. um but i think what he did for us as a pivot was almost like um almost like martin odegaard for arsenal like a very uh get, ca- catches the ball from your defense and turns around and just starts going up the field mm-hmm. and what i love about that is we don't have anyone who does that in the middle of the field we have people who do that a lot on the wings yeah but you over you overload yeah, you overload the wing though, and then what? What's your offense? You know, um, and even like the Barnetta like style. I was gonna say Tranquila Barnetta. I always it's that kind of that, that was general guy. right in the middle of the field to help just transition mm-hmm. from defense to offense and just orchestrates that full fo- that forward motion. Yeah, and and in in Bedoya's defense, I think the last two three seasons that was that was somewhere between him and Aronson. Hmm. Um, it was one of those, it was one of those things where you could count on Aronson to, to take off and you could count on hmm. Bedoya to make the smart pass. Yeah. And I, yeah. I just don't think we have anyone who's really making the smart pass. Maybe the, mm-hmm. the pass before the pass that leads to the goal. Mm-hmm. Um, we, we have a lot of, you know, simple, simple moments where we just sort of feel not clicking like they're, mm-hmm. you know. There's moments where I see an overlap and I'm like, clearly that's the play. And then there's a cutback and in and, and we're and I'm like, what is happening here? And you know, yeah. and so and obviously easier, easier said than done. They're the professionals. I'm not. I volunteered for the <laughs> YMCA fourth and fifth grade coach one year. Like <laughs> I'm not pretending to know more. Oh, yeah. You know? But we can have our opinions. It's all right. I've never yeah, exactly. even played, to be honest <laughs> with you. Outside of gym class, I'm just a fan, longtime fan. Just yeah. watched it a ton. But I mean, I I have a long-standing feeling that MLS has uh, yet to master the cross and <laughs> finishing yeah. across. I mean, when you watch EPL or something like that, it's it's night and day. I although it's getting better. Yeah, it's getting it better. Is. But yeah. um, man, the early days it was like, don't even bother don't yeah yeah but you're saying but but gabe you're saying we need a ben techie somebody who's just going to be a monster in the box Uh, yeah and honestly i'm actually very jealous of la because Giroud, i think does that Mm. he's done that his whole career even with arsenal and i watch i watch um i watch premier league every week um Mm -hmm. I'm, i'm a big fantasy premier league guy um we have a deep league of like guys who are super committed to it and Giroud, I mean that—that's his mm-hmm. specialty. Honestly, you could throw Zlatan in there. You mm-hmm. could throw mm-hmm. Giroud. You're, you're talking about the same player, really. Like, I, I mean, obviously, the different characteristics, different careers. But yeah, someone. I honestly, um, I think Shabilko did a did a decent job. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think his finishing was was as elite as we needed it to be. I would say many of the times his positioning was there. Mm. He he was there, mm-hmm. and I do think that's half of it. Um, and uh, and you know, guys like that, I, I do think sort of lend themselves to even you know some of the older, more experienced. Um, like I don't have to be faster than you; I just have to be in the right place at the right time. Smarter, yeah. Mm-hmm. I got to be smarter than you, and mm-hmm. you know, and they they've got a decade of playing at the highest level that they can, you know, with a one step fake out the twenty one year old center back, and then suddenly you're wide open and. And you're tapping it in, and so yeah, I, I think I think that would be massive for us. Um, unfortunately, that's the most expensive position. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, every time, followed by like a um, prolific winger, 
Mm -hmm. uh, somebody who likes to drift and, you know, take on players one on one. Um, I actually really like, um, uh, oh man, I like the, the young kid from, uh, Miami, um, who sort of has, I think it's Kremeshi. Mm -hmm. Um, he's not a winger necessarily, but I, it's been cool to watch him sort of that. And I don't follow Miami. Like I follow the union, of course, but it's been cool to kind of watch him take on sort of take on that role of like, I'm confident at running at you. Um, as opposed to like running around you. And I, I just don't know that you can put the ball at any one of our guys' feet right now and say, beat, beat this, like beat this defender, beat this winger on a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. Right. And, and they can do that. And so, um, to some extent, I guess you roll out like the diva mentality, Mm -hmm. Um, but where, like, where is El Sino at where he can exactly, yeah, you, know, you give him the ball and you put three guys in front and it's not going to matter, you know? Yeah. Cause mm -hmm. the, like it was so common to see when El Sino got the ball, like immediately two guys are marking them. Yeah. And, uh, and even that sometimes wasn't enough. Yeah. And we were, we were pretty blessed. Like we, we to have him to have guys like, even like Alberg, like he was a frustrating player for oh, a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Um, and I'm, I'm dating myself a little bit about like when I got in, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> my, my first union game too, was a Connor Casey 93rd minute header. Oh <laughs> man. man. Yeah. And, and it was like, it, it was insane because like, again, like he came in for like five seconds, like he, mm -hmm. he did no running cause his stamina was, was not, he wasn't yeah. built like that. No. Right. Right. But, but when the cross came in, like he bodied this guy mm -hmm. and, you know, and, and he got there. And I think that would go a long way for us, especially when our team is, um, you know, we have a good mix of young and old, uh, on this squad, but I say we're, we're, we're mostly a younger team. We're a philosophically younger team. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, um, and that's kind of why I'm quick to defend, uh, coach Curtin, um, any moment I get, because he has been really money balling it for the last seven years. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and Tanner, absolutely. Yeah, and you know, some some people on the page are quick to like curtain out, you know, whatever. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I actually had I had the chance to meet him at that Bethlehem Steel tryout. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? That's and, cool. Yeah, he was great. Maybe yeah. one of those, maybe like one of those embarrassing uh, days where nothing's happening. I'll put the picture up uh, <laughs> of him and I. But he was super kind, like very grateful that you know that that people were coming out and like. Um, obviously, I think that goes a long way. Um, because it makes you feel like he's one of us you know what i mean mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. yeah absolutely. i think you know he's one of those guys that i think you you've we've given him not a lot and he's he's turned it into a playoff team consistently mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i i would argue that maybe he's one of the reasons why um why our expectations are so high but we mm -hmm. wouldn't think to give him credit yeah you know yeah absolutely <laughs> i'm a big fan i i love his honesty and directness and yeah bluntness in a funny way but uh yeah <laughs> and he's yeah, tall I... for whatever that's worth <laughs> yeah that too <laughs> great suits man like he just right? shows up in a great suit yeah yeah we, we were digging it when he was showing up i know like last season he did a lot more like the sports leisure wear i mean still well put together but, yeah uh, well I, that I, kicked I like... off during the pandemic he he went leisure wear and yeah. then and now this year he's back to you know red yeah carpet. if i run into him i need to be like hey man where did you get your suits from? And like, bring it, bring it back. Maybe it was part of the winning. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, I know. I, yeah, right. I did track down his pea coat. So <laughs> I did, did find that online. <laughs> yeah. Did yeah, I did. And it's, it's, a uh, it, it's, it's, um, spendy. Of course. <laughs> spendy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did, did, but, now, do you believe in the curse of the union yards? Have you heard of that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, are we pro? Are we, are we not like, where, where do we land? I don't like, know. Like, I don't want to give it too much credit, right? Because it's no, I don't like, either. Uh, me personally, I haven't really thought about it, to be honest. Like, I mean, yeah, everything's that the timing lines up, of course, but it's like, I don't know. For me, I'm I'm on I'm on team coincidence. It's just sure. coincidence. I did I did hear something today. Uh oh wait, was it no? I think it was wait a minute. I think you may you may have mentioned this last last week. Was it about how the team hasn't right. won at home since Matt Real? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's that right. Was us, yeah. yeah, that's that you the, guys. That's that the yeah. alternate one. Yeah, look at you. <laughs> you're now, to be fair, I didn't. Uh, that wasn't something that I came up. I, I I can't remember if I read that or heard that on another oh, podcast. Honest, so it's yeah. not totally on me. But yes, we did mention it in the last podcast. <laughs> See what I'm saying? This is this is why it's it's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it'll take, but. Uh, yeah. But I, I do like to even like on the union posts too when they say something. I, I like to get there early 
and if it's been a doozy of a day, I'm like, hey, like it's a tough day, but like we're sticking with the team, and um, and it's cool because then then it like introduces like people get to just realize that it's a game, and you're gonna come back tomorrow, and you're gonna you know you're gonna be here next year, and so as long as we've you know got as long as we've got a plan, um, yeah. and and it's one to get excited about, um, you know we can always be a little hopeful. Yeah. yeah. Of course, all of this is liable to change when the transfer window closes and we'll see whether or not they make any moves and <laughs> yeah. what those moves might be. Yeah. Yeah. We reserve the rights to change, change reserve the right to change our mind and slam them for whatever they do or don't do. That's <laughs> that's hundred percent correct. And and if we said something that didn't actually happen, we have the right to say we never said that. Exactly. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Recording it's, or no doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't matter. It's that's the fan right. bill of rights. You know, it's like mm-hmm. nah, we can <laughs> that's real. No, everything is <laughs> could be plausibly denied. Well, how about this kind of so maybe one of the final questions here uh with the Union Miami game? And I know like both the Union and particularly Miami are going to be missing a lot of the main characters. Uh any thoughts on the game uh, on Saturday the, when Miami's here in town? Yeah. Um I I I do want to say that like I think it's better that that we're getting um sort of a B team. Um, not because, well, and and maybe a little bit of spoiler alert too. I I do think, I I do think we'll probably lose this game. And this may be one of my, this may be one of my first predictions that I would bluntly kind of say that. Mm -hmm. And it's not because, um, obviously Messi's not there, right? Like Suarez Mm -hmm. is not there. Um, I just don't know that I've seen enough at this moment to tell me that uh, unless there's like a Donovan legacy game incoming, right? Like Mm -hmm. a game where where it flips the script, um, Mm -hmm. But I also think that they're riding pretty high, just just overall, and they need this win as much as we need this win. And mm-hmm. that's silly to say because they're at the top, um, but they're going to be without their stars for a long time. Like mm-hmm. there, there, there's you know there's Copa, um, and you know there's every reason to believe that I think Argentina is going to run deep into that tournament. Um, you know Uruguay is going to run deep into that tournament. Um, I, I personally am happy with any result we get. Um, this is a this is a strange game. Um, I think, but I think it's a character game. Um, mm-hmm. and I, and I think it's important for, um, I think it's important for the future of our team because the guys are. This is like a hey, save your job kind of deal, right? Because mm-hmm. because we're gonna have some guys off the bench. Um, our our stars are gone, right? Gazdag's mm-hmm. not gonna be here. Yeah. Carranza's yeah. not gonna be here. There's gonna be some fresh legs at the bench. Um, and for me, I think I'm I'm really observing this with a with a future lens, um, which is why I'm okay if we do drop points. Which I'm sure people, um, and I'm curious to see maybe how how people respond to that, like in mm-hmm. a in a post. Yeah. But I'm I'm really looking at this through like a okay, like um, is at least half of the team worth keeping through next year? Like mm-hmm. we're we're playing a we're playing a beat in Miami team. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, uh, who's who's going to be sort of the uh, the skeleton crew if we do need to kind of clean house and so it's almost like a mid-season preseason game for me if that makes mm-hmm. sense yeah mm-hmm. um where mm-hmm. i'm kind of like all right we've got guys who are going to be maybe out of position or a lineup we haven't seen before uh, and i could be completely wrong maybe the prediction i did today has has no validity maybe they switched the formation i i had said three five two just because that seems to be where we're at um but even earlier on in the year i was hoping that we would do something more like a four three two one like kind of a back to a pyramid type deal just for midfield stability and all that and so i think this game uh for me is more of an analytical like all right what does this mean for us um and sort of who's worth keeping um what what pieces can can we find and so for me it's sort of a preseason uh mm. men- mentality and um, who knows? Like m- maybe we come out guns blazing and things are are great, but I, I do feel like in moments like this, we sort of have an anomaly to step back, and they don't have their best, we don't have our best. Um, but even with our best, we haven't been playing great. Yeah. And so for me, um, I I think I'm I think I'm excited to to kind of let this be like a little bit of a one off and see what we're working with. I'm curious to see what coach you know changes tactics wise or will he sub earlier than the 78th minute like <laughs> you know fingers <laughs> crossed christy um <laughs> and uh yeah I, I i'm not upset if we lose this game mm-hmm. uh, what i am uh i I'm, I'm really gonna walk away feeling i think either encouraged that that there is something that's under the surface and maybe we, didn't, we wouldn't have a chance to see had our guys not gone away yeah. mm-hmm. uh, or or maybe it's like okay 
this is going to be a strap in for another, you know, two years of if nothing happens in the transfer window. Yeah. You know, then, then we may have to uh, yeah. brace, you know, for impact or something. But <laughs> that's that's a really that's an interesting take. I hadn't really thought of it that way, but. Yeah, and maybe yeah. it's the wrong take. You know, what I, mean? I don't know. You know I mean? Well, right. No, but I mean, well, who knows? Any given Saturday, right? You don't know. Yeah. Um. I mean, I know. I know it's Sunday, but so, yeah. but um. Yeah, it's it's a, a good way of looking at it because uh, who knows what could what could shake out. Yeah. Um. And it, it it is an opportunity. It's a way to use it as an opportunity. You know. Yeah. And like two years ago, that twenty twenty two team, like you know. That I feel like that was one of the first years where the the younger guys were really kind of showing their their metal, and this game is like an opportunity for that, you know. With these these, you know, I mean, we are missing a couple of them, but um, because the Olympic camp's going on right now, right? Or is that? Yeah, yeah, no, it's true. Yeah, because McGlynn's over there. Yeah, Sullivan just missed out. Yeah, uh, but uh, but Quinn is. Yeah, Quinn. I'm not. I'm sorry, not Quinn. McGlynn's in there. Yeah, and Harriel too. Harriel is. Yeah. Harriel's in there. So, but like your Sullivan, um, your uh, our uh, our second favorite Drexel Dragon. Uh, you know, they can. This is their time to shine, right? Like you get out there, you might be starting, you know, and yeah, um, and 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 you're it, you know. Yeah, it's like right. the, there is no but there is no one to help you. Yeah, it, it, the, the preseason analogy, I think, is a, is a is a insightful one I, I, that that does put it in a nice context so we'll see i, I hope for the win because this these draws like we gotta you know this ac richmond nonsense like it's 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 you know it's funny if you know um <laughs> sudeikis is involved otherwise it, it gets old mark yeah. your bingo card i know <laughs> <laughs> now listen i say that now but if we get a nil nil draw i may burn my apartment to the ground no i'm just kidding no. <laughs> uh, your neighbor's because, like sorry like, yeah. <laughs> well and, and you know what too like and, and maybe people disagree with this but i think you learn more from a loss than you do from a draw well mm -hmm. yeah because you when you walk away with points it covers up uh to some extent um some of the weaknesses because mm. you think well at least we got a point you know what i mean but, mm. I, but i'm like listen no if we're gonna lose like it might as well be for nothing because i would rather than be glaring obvious like as to yeah. what is wrong because you know the, the phrase in sports is like winning covers a multitude of things yeah um, interesting. yeah and uh and there's times where we're, we're like we've drawn one one i'm like we didn't deserve that like we lost that game yeah um but they gifted it or whatever and uh and i, and I do think you know at times and if we're going to be like real with this team uh, which i'm going to try to be like as best as i can mm -hmm. to me to me i'm like all right i'd rather lose um, you know, two nothing, and know exactly what needs to be fixed, and and nobody can hide behind a score sheet, nobody can hide behind a stat line, like you know, no, you sir were terrible, and you were not good enough today. You know what I mean? Um, and and I do feel like some of our score lines, although we've been playing better than we are, we're, we're obviously not where we want to be. Yeah. And um, and I, I would hate to get to the end of this and be like, well, at least we made the playoffs, but all these other teams in the East have reloaded. Because they've been bad the last two years, yeah, yeah, and and they've gone out and done something about it, yeah, right, and and we're sort of in the maintain like uh, mentality, yeah. and mm -hmm. uh, and so yeah, I, I think with a casual with a casual eye of fandom, but maybe a analytical eye of you know maybe one of those monocles, I'll be sitting there <laughs> and just, just kind of like peeking, like man, do you have anything to offer this? Like, do, are you are you right for this team? Like, do you? Uh, and and I don't know, maybe that'll spawn the next sort of uh if we go down with the ship kind of thing this year um what, what we might look forward to but yeah. that's sort of i want to challenge it just a touch just, a, sure. just what you've been saying just a little bit because sure. one of the things we've talked about that one of the things that's been most fun to watch the union over the last few years when they've been playing well is when they've been playing confident when mm -hmm. when you see gosh dog and aura and Carranza just smiling at each other because they know where they're making their runs they know you know without looking that they can make a pass and that person's going to run so i'm wondering if you know if we do see some players that may not get as much play time over the next couple of weeks when Carranza's is out when gosh dog's away when um you know, McGlynn or Harriel might be away and you suddenly Raffanello's getting a shot. I mean, Bedoya has said multiple times uh, in a number of interviews, Raffanello will shoot it from 45 yards out and put it on yeah. frame and make it a tough shot. 
you know, whether or not Mbizo actually steps into the role now that he's going to have a, an extended run, you know, and make that make that right back um, slot a competition between him and Harriel. It's not going to just be Harriel's spot with an occasion of Mbizo. You know, I think if they can come out confident and play for fun, I think we could see something special. Yeah, that's a great point. But, you know, that's but great- we have to see that. Yeah. I mean, that's a great take, though, because, like, you know, this time last year, they were the most freeing team to watch. And you just saw it, to your point. Like, you saw it on their face. They loved it. You, they didn't even have to look up. They knew who was being where. They knew their runs. They knew their timing. And I think that's, no, I, I would agree completely. It, for me, I think the hardest thing to swallow is how are we the last team to lose a game? Like, we had seven, we had seven games with points and like something did, did like, did we just leak our tactics like online? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Um, something broke. It's yeah. And, and I'm hoping it's not coach losing the locker room. Mm-hmm. I'm hoping it's not <sighs> yeah. that because you can't really rebuild that. Yeah. Um, and, uh, that, that I think is the hardest. Um, I do think we did obviously have a few pieces go away, but. Uh, I don't know. And and I, I I think to your point, if we get these kids in who all I know is just they're they're having fun because this is they're 18, they're 19, this is their team, and they get a chance to kind of let it rip. I actually love what I see from Rafa. Mm-hmm. Um the few times that we've seen him. Um I he's probably my favorite uh young player currently. Mm-hmm. Um I again small sample size, mm. but mm-hmm. he looks like he looks like he's got something, something you think twice about. A little bit of an X factor. Yep. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it, Nick Sirianni would say he's got that dog in him. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. yeah. Well, you never like, know what he's going to do. You never know yeah. when he's just going to uncork something that you don't expect. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll have to see. You know, I'm hopeful that they come out playing. You know, personally, I would love to see them lock down that defense. Obviously, without Blake yeah. missing Blake for the next couple of weeks is going to be rough. Uh, uh, but Semla is a capable backup. Yep. And Thank if they can just keep the center defenders talking to each other. With- Lesnes. <laughs> oh Lesnes God. has to get oh, his Glesnes. group back. I just, oh, God love him. He's been no such Connor. a rock, and I feel like I've I taken know. him for granted. And now he's having a little bit of a of a yeah. stumble this season. Yeah. And it's like, I don't know how to handle it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm just going to nod. I'm just going to nod. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's it, probably yeah. best. Yeah. It's yeah. probably best. Yeah. All right, well, let's uh, let's start to wrap up this interview. Um, and one of the things we're, we're trying to implement going forward is we have kind of uh, three questions we're going to ask all of our guests. And we are kind of, like I said, we are workshopping them a little bit. So it may change from one episode to the next. So, uh, you know, no one, as you said, plausible deniability. It's like, no, no, no. <laughs> these are, we, we'll change it as needed. So, um, so we got three questions just to kind of delve I mean, all, we have dealt pretty deep uh, in terms of soccer stuff, but we're just going to see where this goes. So kind of our first question here is if you for for the union, um, if you could add any player or coach to the team, past, present, alive, dead, money, no object. So it's like the the world is your oyster. Who would you pick? And if you want to give any reason why, um, who would it be? And if you want to take a minute to think about that, I'm not sure how I would answer this. Uh, oof. I mean, you, you could go so many ways, right? Um, and go, feel free. You can give us a couple. So, you know what? Like, all right. And it's crazy the amount of times I've bashed this player. But I'm, <laughs> but I'm thinking about it in terms of what he would do for the franchise, what he would do for the brand globally. Um. Because I think that's a big part of the game now, right? Uh-huh. Like you sign one person, it changes everything. Um, it changes I mean, like the way Miami that the the world. Well, yeah, I mean, you. So, I, I initially I was going through like some of the players. I'm like, eh, you know, whatever. Uh, I, I thought of some past, like in the. Do you have a guess? Actually, I or, can, I, can, I, can you guess it. I'm curious where you're gonna go, but um... no, you should go. Um, so I would say if if you handed me a wand and you said wave this sucker over Subaru Park, I would I would make it play and I would say bring me Cristiano Ronaldo. Ooh. And here's why. I think he's exactly what we described for a poacher. I think he has mm. flair, he has all those things. But I I honestly think he would do a lot for the brand. Like 
mm. he would immediately make he he would make adding eight thousand seats to the stadium easy, <laughs> which is something that they're thinking about doing, which is not easy. Um, I think now he would be a big personality. I think it would be very difficult. I think he would be not somebody who is, he's not normally like he's not a Philly player. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. he's a little too he's a little too pretty. A little too prima <laughs> donna. Uh, <laughs> he is, but but I think I think when he when he would leave, the team value would be significantly higher. Yeah, interesting. Um, and so so for me, I think it's probably more of a business move. Mm-hmm. Um, than it, than anything else because you'd be like, fine, Miami, you take Messi, we'll take Cristiano, yeah, and we'll we'll watch sort of the anyone who anyone who's like a uh, maybe a casual fan, I think would would be more interested. Um, and I, and I do think I'm waiting for them to like for me as a fan. My main thing right now is give me somebody that makes the world respect us. Hmm. Like, L A L A does it frequently. Yeah. Like, um, you know, uh, both LAFC and Galaxy. And I'm, I'm actually sort of like sick to my stomach to think that like San Diego is, is almost pulling, uh, oh, they just sure. pulled, uh, or they're, they're, they're linked to like De Bruyne. They're linked to like some of these other guys. Yeah. Royce just got, you know, he's making his way. And I'm like, I'm like, can we get somebody? This is Philly, baby. Like we're talking about like, we, we, we do world, world caliber stuff, you know? Mm-hmm. And so and so for me, it's probably a weird pick, like probably not what you would guess. But I would say if there's one person who could undeniably bring a ton of attention and leave and leave knowing that we've maybe 33% our net value as a club is higher. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, just get me the biggest one who's not named Messi. Yeah. And I and I would say that's probably Cristiano. Yeah. Um I don't, yeah, and who, we who, just have to guess? tell or you're gonna have to give up the number seven. Sorry, Michael. <laughs> Yeah, which until I mean, I was I was about to say something sarcastic, but I'll I'll relax because I, I, like, you might have you to know. find somebody else to go to the games with the too because I, I uh, behind the scenes I can't stand Cristiano Ronaldo, but I understand your reasoning. I do understand your reasoning completely. I can't stand and him. and I I don't really like him either. Um, I, I really don't. I, I honestly, another thought I had was maybe like I could go back in and replay like a, like a like a Beckham or something like that. But mm. that, that's done. That's been that's happened. Right. Yeah. 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 Um, oh, and I want to be but, clear. But, there's no right answer for this. I'm not absolutely. criticizing your choice in any yeah. way. <laughs> I, I will say runner ups. <laughs> thank you. Uh, yeah. I will say runners runners up for me would be um, I really like Bakayo Saka from Arsenal. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, oh, he's good. I, I I think he's awesome. Um, a little bit of bias there. Um Are you an Arsenal fan? I, he's a gunner. I am. Okay. I okay. am a gunner. All right. I'm a gunner. Um, I have been since FIFA ninety nine came out uh <laughs> on the PlayStation one. Um and then uh yeah, I don't know. You know, maybe yeah, that that, that he'd be he'd be like a runner uh, up or something, uh, but I think I, I think we need somebody for the brand, like somebody yeah, that would take yeah. the brand to the next level. Yeah. Um, because I just don't think we we have anyone who who's been able to do that yet. Yeah. Yet, yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Just from your your lead in, and then I didn't even think about Cristiano Ronaldo, and that absolutely fits the puzzle piece now where you were going with it. I thought you were going to go with like a like a like a ten year ago, fifteen year ago Zlatan, you know, because uh, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, he's a poacher and. Uh, and he is very polarizing, right? People, I mean, so is Cristiano Ronaldo, right? And people totally. either um, like him or love him or uh, like him or hate him. Um, but I think, as Christy pointed out, this question is um, is the head question. Like, just, you know, sure. pure, cold calculus, who would you bring in? To, you uh, broke my you? brain a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I... I would say though, like in another reality, like completely not thinking about that, I think it'd be cool to have ballistic. Like, yeah, because he's PA. You yeah, know what Hershey. I mean? Hershey's Messi. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> he's Hershey. Yeah, right. We have Medford Messi. We have Hershey Messi. <laughs> right, yeah, right. right. Um, but but I, I do think it it would be kind of cool, like at, in another timeline, if if he ended up staying. Yeah. Um. Obviously, he's doing some amazing things. He just he just yeah. you know had a great free kick. Uh, against Brazil. I, and I stuff. do think, I think it's interesting cool. that all of your picks are kind of not quite finesse total totally finesse players but they are kind of more on that outside edge uh not necessarily play right through a player but um you know play around and and you know good good ball ball skills kind of a, a approach. 
Paul, I said you put yeah, an answer I, in on the on the Google Doc. Yeah, here. yeah. I was saying that my pick would be uh, Prime Wayne Rooney. Yeah, Ooh. he would be the he would be a Philly kind of player, just yeah. the one that would just kick you in yeah. the shins, step over your dead body, and just go <laughs> score goals. <laughs> That's a great one. That's a great one, especially because he came up in Everton, which is sort of like the yeah. Philly of England. <laughs> like, <laughs> it is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, you know, 100%. like there's a little bit of yeah. you gotta have that in you yeah. a little bit. That's a great mm-hmm. pick. Actually, I know who I would pick now. I was trying to think, who would I pick? And I would take a prime. This, you know, obviously this guy's not his prime one. I'd take a, a, a Zidane. I would absolutely get Zidane Ooh. on his team. Because he's kind Couldn't of argue with that. Because he he just knows wow. how to, he puts in, he can just do the grind. He will just fight, yeah. fight, fight. You know, hopefully minimal headbutting. Um, but otherwise, he'll just grind it out. Some, just minimal. Minimal. Yeah. Some. Some headbutting. Yeah. Just like a uh, minimal yeah. amount. Yeah. Light. A, a tasteful amount of headbutting. <laughs> <laughs> Christy, you want to venture one? I don't want to put you on the spot. But... No, no, okay. no, no. This isn't about me. So okay. uh, yeah. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll abstain until I think of someone. Uh, <laughs> oh, I was really hoping. I was waiting for her to just drop like a bomb of someone. <laughs> Abby Wambach. No, <laughs> honestly, that's who. That was my other pick. Well, yeah, I, we, honestly, we can... honestly, she would be great. <laughs> I'm talking about a poaching forward. There you go. Is she yeah. busy this weekend? Do we like <laughs> yes. right? Let's do it. An emergency hire. Let's go. Is she free? She's That's a funny. podcaster now, so yes. hey, we'll we'll um, uh we'll link her to this one and maybe we yeah. can make something happen. Get her in here. Yeah. I, I, years ago, well, not years ago. Oh my god, we've only been doing the podcast. How long have we been doing the podcast for a year? We've been doing it for years. years. We've, we've yeah, passed for more than technically, a year. Technically, I did say I, I, I know this is like a lot lower key than what you're saying, but I said bring Aronson back mm-hmm. because oh, he yeah. has experience with the yeah. team. Yeah. But yeah. he's now had the European experience and he's still young. Yeah. That's a cool take. So let's bring yeah. that back and see, you know, that, what happens. That so. would be cool. If and yeah. ever that happens yeah. with the so homecoming, that's, that's yeah. just a maybe reach Leeds back can give us a three month loan just to yeah. get us through the, uh, <laughs> yeah. the, the, the playoffs. Uh, yeah, yeah. And now he's in this whole other thing where I was reading today. He, there's a loan working on for in the Everdice with him. Like there's another team who's who's trying to buy his rights for another year or something because he can't go back to Leeds as long as Leeds isn't um in the prem that's part uh-huh. of his contract that's right yeah mm-hmm. he had as long that. as they're in the championship he can't be he can't be there wow um, it's part of which brilliant by his manager yeah, yeah. He, he keeps Huge. him sort of um man that would be so cool huh mm-hmm. yeah. that'd be fun that would be really cool oh now you got <laughs> yeah. dream in my mom would be happy <laughs> that was one of her favorite yeah players. that's true <laughs> <laughs> Want to scoop uh boys? Yes, and she's about to lose her current favorite player. Um, <laughs> I know. I almost uh, bought a jersey yeah. of Carranza too. That's this yeah. year, and because uh, I'm due, I'm due for one. I, I have a few from years back, um, which I'm hoping I want them to get a new sponsor. Like I want it to be you. Some, one of you said this. Wawa would be would be perfect. Wawa would be the. We are so campaigning year. for Wawa to be the sponsor. So bad, Wawa. I mean, they Such are our like unofficial them. sponsor because then whenever we are on our way home, we always stop. Always <laughs> yeah. Wawa. Yes. <laughs> Wawa. Yeah. So. We probably have accidentally been in the Wawa at the same time post game <laughs> on the way back because it doesn't matter if you're going into Delaware, there's one. If you're going back like through Jersey, yep. there's one. Like they're just. Yeah. Hey, here's everywhere. another idea. Like the union should do this because all the, you know, part of the agreement could be that there has to be a Philly union merch area in every Wawa store. They would oh sell God. so much uh, merch. It'd be That's crazy. Real. That's real. I would get my <laughs> Philly Union coffee cozy. Uh, uh-huh. Absolutely. Dear Lord, I would use that thing so much. All right. Who do we have to write? Like, <laughs> no. Dear Lord. Yeah. I'll tag them. I'll tag them in the post. We have to, we have to, we have to combine forces here, right? Bring our, yeah. our, uh, surely. Our media savvy uh between presence. the two of us. Yeah. We can well, make that, would this be, that would be a moral victory. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> to be celebrated. No, no, that would be a downright victory to get <laughs> on the on the jersey. I might yeah. be happier as happy as yeah. that with that as anything else. Yeah. No, that's real. But E, do your second question. All right. So the second question is as Chrissy said, this is the heart question. If you could have dinner with any uh union player, coach, announcer personality past present um heck i would even i mean it, it probably would be the union i mean 
Um, I had put that in there, but I'll leave it up to any, you know, you know, in the full pantheon of, of the soccer world. Uh, Do I get to pick what, like, is it dinner? Is it coffee? Do I get to pick whatever you want? It's basically, it's just to actually hang out and just be with this, yeah. hang out with this person. Interesting. Yeah. Um, and, and, uh, I don't know. Play FIFA 99, uh, whatever works. Yeah. yeah FIFA 99. Um, I, uh, I think it would be really fun to golf with Gareth Bale because um, oh. he's a big golfer. And I, Gareth Bale was actually one of my favorite players for a long time. And that's probably like, again, this is terrible right now. Before uh, LAFC, I, I was, was fine Gareth with him Bale before with, that. With that Tottenham, goal. with Real Madrid. The guy was I'm just, surprised you didn't pick him for the first question, in all oh, honesty. Yeah. It, 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 he, he crossed my mind. The only problem is that like he he has he doesn't have a great experience with his clubs. Mm. Like he was, there was beef with him and Zidane. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. he, he left LAFC like pretty quickly. Like he was in and out. Like, yeah, he just showed up. Yeah. yeah. And it, I just don't know you could build around him because you just don't know if he's around, like type deal. But he's a big golfer and I watch him golf. And I, and I'm, and I actually really like golf. I think mm. that would be cool. But to be honest with you, the first one who did come to my mind too would, would be, it'd probably be Brendan Aronson. I'd be like, bro, you're from Medford. I'm from mm. Burlington County. Like let's let's just go let's yeah. vibe or whatever let's get a cheesesteak or something. Yeah. Um. But but I would say golfing with Gareth Bale would be pretty sweet. Yeah. Um. Because I think he's somebody who doesn't get enough credit as a Real Madrid player. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And you know he's a same same idea though. Maybe, maybe I just have this archetype like as a favorite sort of that prolific winger, vicious like um you know from twenty yards out. There's there's something about like at any moment there's there's anything can happen, but. Um, yeah, I would say that. I think I would say that huh. one. Um, yeah, or or maybe Ray Gaddis. He doesn't get enough love. <laughs> uh, I Ray, actually Ray. Met, yeah, I met I met Ray uh, at some like practice thing or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, and um, we've actually messaged a few times back and forth. And I really oh, like cool. him. I think he's a I think he's a great guy. Yeah. That, that'd be that'd be pretty fun. I think yeah. to to sit down with him. Yeah, that's that's one. I feel like that's like um, one small, I'll put this in air quotes, regret with the union, right? Ray retires, right? He leaves the union. It's like, okay, you know, sad to see him go, but you know, he he was such a great player. And then he starts up again with Cincinnati. And it's like, yo, Ray, yeah. like I thought we had a deal here. I thought you were retiring. Now you're coming out and you're playing for what we now, you know, sometimes refer to as the Union West of Cincinnati. Yeah. But uh yeah, but I mean still though, he's just such a, a class well, player. Like, he is. And I I thought had he stayed retired, he may have ended up in the ring of honor. Yes, because yes. Of, because of his appearances. Yep. yep. Had, had he just kind of stayed. Yeah. Um, you know, and that that was tough. That that was actually kind of tricky because I, I I was even uh commissioning for that. Like in the comments, and, and this is just on my personal one. I was like, mm -hmm. you know, make him a ring of honor. Like, yeah, because he, he, he's kind of a. He never had that goal. I always hoped he would get a goal. Yep. I was when always Ray hoping scores, we could have done the we when Ray the scores, race. we riot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh that that was before like the I've seen enough build the statue. You know what I mean? Like yeah. comments. But I yeah, I would have freaked out. And I th I thought maybe he'd be the second name. Um, which which I'm guessing now will probably be Gazdag. Like whenever he um, you know, because he's the all he'll be the all time, I'm assuming, the all time scorer. Uh I I would say Bedoya before. Yeah. Yeah. Before oh, true. Like, that, yeah. That's fair. That's a but, good point. Uh, but that, that's that's my heart talking. Yeah. Because <laughs> no, if that... you've listened to this at all, you know who my captain is. Well, and honestly, <laughs> we, we owe him. We owe him a lot. And probably Blake. Yeah, we at do. At some point. Blake's oh, absolutely. Yeah. 100%. Um, but yeah. we, do owe, we do owe a lot to Bedoya because mm -hmm. I guess he was sort of that international recognition when yeah. he came because he was still semi in his prime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Mm -hmm. in the French league and yeah. cer mm -hmm. certainly loved on the men's national team level. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know, he, he is, he's the captain, right? Like he, mm -hmm. uh, and you know, the heartbeat. And I, I hope that he pulls like a, I hope he pulls like a, um, I retire, but I'm going to stay with the club as a player yeah. personnel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, that would, that would be nice. You know, yeah. maybe he'll even pull a Danny Briere and take over as the manager when Ernst, you know, moves on after, he, you know, whenever he goes, <laughs> I'm yes. open. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm open. I, I think he's got a lot to offer and, you know, he's played at a lot of high levels. And so mm -hmm. every, everyone loves him too. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, you know, what, what are you not? not? Yeah. <laughs> right. See, Christy gets it. 
Yeah. <laughs> Always. <laughs> that's, that's the guy. That's hey, him, just real quick while we're up. talking about him, did you listen to what? I don't remember exactly if it was the last episode of last season. It was, it was episode last episode 42. Season. Yeah, I don't know if you listened to that one at all. The holiday special. No. Yeah, if, if you didn't get a chance, do because yeah. there's a little a little Bedoya treat in there. Yeah. Uh, related treat it's like not past that. the 30 minute mark i'm not sure how much f- past but it's it's right energy. it's right around the 30 if you right get around you 30 minutes jump yeah. to what, 30 is the, minutes. what is a bedoya treat i oh uh, you'll you'll you just you'll gotta hear. you just gotta <laughs> tune in yeah <laughs> and anybody listening to this podcast feel free to go back if you haven't listened to that yeah. one yeah. It's, it's the last episode from season one it's our okay. it's our christmas holiday, holiday one and okay. uh our candle and, nights episode. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Okay. I like that. That, yeah. that, that that's perfect. I'm yeah. forget as soon as I'm done here, that's what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's after the 30th minute. So yeah. Somewhere. Okay. Yeah. So good. um I'll ask the third question. You go for you. it. Yeah. Since this okay. is your this is we, we you started this with Alyssa. Yeah. So um we have a playlist for that accompanies our podcast. Um that uh, we list out just songs that we find relate to the union to us or that we use in our Instagram posts. So uh, we like to ask our guests what song reminds you of, it can be the union. uh, I mean, it can be soccer in general, um, but is there a song that you would add to a a soccer slash union oriented playlist? All right. Something that, something that kind of screams like game day is what I'm getting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's it. I mean, you can interpret it. I mean, you can do whatever you can interpret it however you want. But that's you know, that's a good interpretation. If you want to go lady in red, that, that's fine too, right? <laughs> that's a that's an yeah, old Taylor Twelman reference. What if I pivoted like so hard, like game day? I'm like, my heart will go on, Celine. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. Um, and, and there will be follow up questions, then, of course. <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> like, like, what is yeah. your tailgating like? If that's the background, <laughs> I know. Um, well, that was so, the Taylor Twelman joke. He always talked about that. It was years ago. About like when the relief pitcher comes out, they always play like a song over this over the stadium to kind of get hyped up and all that. He said if he was a relief pitcher, he would come out to Lady in Red because the other team <laughs> would be like, "What the hell is this?" They would have <laughs> no idea. Um, I was actually at a, at a Phillies game two weeks ago, and Garrett Stubbs came out to like a Sinatra song. Nice, nice. And nice. I, and I was like, "This is just this is wild." Because you, <laughs> you you've got like all you have so many different vibes, and that's what you get. But you're yeah. like, "I remember it," you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. actually. I'm actually kind of proud of this one. So this may be a song right. that not many people would know. Mm-hmm. Right? Um, but actually, uh, a friend of mine uh, who was I was roommates with in college um, is as a major league ball player, oh. and and I pitched this song to him as his walkout song, and he's using it uh, this right. season. This season, actually. Uh, and so many people may not know it, but I think the second you hear it, you're gonna be like, oh, okay, that's that's giving me kind of like. Almost like the guitar in your face, kind of megaphony. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Kind of like, okay, we just got out of the car. We're walking to the stadium. Here's where we're at. Uh, this the song's called "Count 'Em" by Brandon Lake. So okay. I don't know. I don't know if at any point anybody cares enough to listen to it, but I encourage you. Just the second it comes on, you're like, oh, okay, like. This is getting me in the zone. It kind of gives me that sabotage by Beastie Boys. There start. you go. All nice. right. Yeah. Does, does that make sense? Like, yes. Okay. I gotcha. Mm-hmm. I gotcha. Yeah. You're kind of locked in, but it's called Count Em by Brandon Lake. Okay. Um, and it's like, to me, whenever I'm like, uh, you know, when the when the Phillies game is about to come on, Union game is about to come on, that's what I'm playing. You know what All I mean? Right. Get me like in the zone. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and uh, crack open a Baja Blast, and I'm in there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, but uh, but yeah. So I, I don't know that anybody would know that one, but right. that would be for me. That would be where I would roll, and it's yeah. kind of tied to a to a personal story. Oh, obscure, right. not obscure. We love it. Yeah. Anything, it's fine. Definitely a hot yeah. take. You know? What yeah. I mean? Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. Either that or like AOK by what's his name that that everyone sings when uh, stock uh, comes up. Stock comes up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can't help but sing it like every time it's on. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Cool Great questions. Great questions, man. That was awesome. Yeah. Man. Yeah, we had we had started that when we had uh, uh, our very first interview was with, with Alyssa, right? A Radu from the mm-hmm. Philippine Union Foundation. Oh, that's and cool. Somehow that that I don't know who came. Christy, you came up with this one, I think, right? About mm-hmm. the song idea, and she was. It, it's funny. It's kind of like almost everyone's response is like, oh, man, yeah, what would that be? It's like, it's not like, yeah. oh, that's a dumb question. It's like, oh, yeah, like this might be yeah. the most important question I answer all night, you know? 
No, well, for real. I know. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and there's also an avenue of like, man, if I miss this, they're going to think this was, I'm stupid. You know what I mean? Like, you're, 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 you're like they're going to think I'm super boring or whatever. Yeah. So that, right. th those are great. Yeah. yeah. As long as nobody <laughs> says Nickelback or something, right? Uh -oh. <laughs> Not knocking really... Nickelback because I mean, they, they make hey, more music and money than I'll ever do in my life. But we know. welcome all kinds of stuff. Yeah, on that. exactly. That playlist exactly. is is yes. out of hand. So yeah. I mean, that's awesome. There's going to be a polka on there at some point, I'm sure. Yeah, so right. It, uh, you know, we we a we are polka, diverse. That would be. <laughs> I'll work it in. Like, yeah, I'm Polish. I can make it work. There you go. It's fine. Oh, very cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that's a great question. Oh my gosh, I love that. <clears throat> All right. Well, Gabe, thank you so, so much for joining us on Amorphil Union. It's been an absolute blast um, talking with you, having you on the podcast with us. Um, we really appreciate you taking all the time uh, to come talk with us, uh, share all the cool things you're doing uh, with We the Union. Um, but with that, we will actually let you have the final word. Um, let the folks know uh, kind of what's going on or how they can get a hold of you or just kind of get your get your voice out there. How can they how can they reach out to you? Yeah. Yeah, um, you can find me on Instagram. It's just uh, at We the Union, um, and that's with uh, uh, with two ends. And we do stuff all the time, every week. There are multiple posts, and uh, we love to invite anyone listening to to jump in the conversation with what's going on and share your thoughts, as raw and unfiltered as as they might be. And um, thank you guys so much for having me. Love your podcast. Love what you're doing, um, and it's just been such a treat. So thank you, thank you again. Well, it was awesome having you on. Thanks so much. Um, all right. Well, if you'd like to join our conversation, you want to get a hold of us, you can do so at our website, amorephillyunion.com. Uh, you can email us at pod at amorephillyunion.com. On Twitter, we are a more Philly U. Instagram, YouTube, and threads, we are a more Philly Union. Uh, we are adding every week to our, our very eclectic Spotify playlist. Maybe Camel is going to make it on this week. We'll see. Fingers crossed. Uh, but you can find that on Spotify under a more Philly Union, uh, the, the playlist or the song list. Um, yeah, we're there twice, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, keep uh, downloading our podcast where you get yours. Um, and, uh, yeah, everyone, thanks for tuning in for another episode of a more Philly Union. We are your hosts. I'm E. I'm C. I'm Paul. I'm Gabe. Go, Go Union! Union. Oh, right, we should well, probably start recording now, right? <laughs> yeah, this is just the warm-up, guys. Hey, guys, I'm Gabe. Nice to <laughs> <laughs>